VC. Uh, thank you, Suhas. And good afternoon, friends. We are going to talk about the role of multifocal oil in current cataract practice. I am from old school of thoughts. I have started doing intracapsular and then have now started doing the flex. So in those intracapsular intra days, there was a book by Norman Jaffe and that book was titled Complications in Cataract Surgery and the first sentence in that was that aphakia is the first complication of cataract surgery. How true it was. And now the intraocular lenses have come and we can jolly, we can very well say that loss of accommodation is the first complication of IOL surgery if your IOL is not a multifocal IOL. And mind you, you know this, most of the patients expect that they will be able to read without glasses and when they cannot, they will come and complain back to you. And I learned this very angrily from my patient. This is my first bifocal implantation somewhere done between 98 and 2000. I don't remember the exact date. A young lady, pre presbyopic age group, cannot read properly. She is appearing for some exam which will take her from migrate, help her migrate to Canada. And she could not read properly, so she came to me. FACO was in the initial phases, so she was worried how fast I can get back to reading. And I said, well, there is FACO, it will be so good, it will be uh, painless, sutureless, etc., etc. And I did the surgery, and next day I expected the patient to be very happy, but the patient was very angry. And the patient said that, what is your all technology about? I could read before my surgery, Today I cannot read anything at all. I said, you take glasses. He said, I don't want glasses. So that was a time when the Pharmacia bifocal had hit the market. And I said, look, there is a new lens. I have no experience, but I am willing to put it if you say yes. So we put the Pharmacia bifocal PMMA IOL. And that lady is doing so well. Even today when she comes back from Canada, she pays a visit to me. So the point is that there, is, uh, there has always been a demand from the patient side to be able to see, read, and do everything without the glasses. Now since my first bifocal IOL implant, I have implanted many of the multifocal lenses, but a lot many things have changed. And lot, a lot of things have changed in a cataract surgery, and the changes are that the patient themselves have changed. Instead of being submissive, we now have some uh, demanding patients. The technology of removal of cataract has changed. Our power estimation has changed. Newer multifocal IOLs, etc. So today's cataract patient is very active. You can't call them old because they want to do every activity they can. And they take up new activities and want to do them after the cataract surgery without the help of glasses. They are well educated because of the internet and there is something called a new vision that they want and that's an intermediate vision. For example, take a myopic patient. He or she would be expected to read without glasses after the surgery. Imagine that's the only vision that the myopic patient has and you take away that from the patient and the patient is going to be unhappy. Or a young patient who has never experienced press biopia is going to be unhappy with the monofocal IOL. And hyperopics who find it difficult to tolerate the glasses or uh, thick glasses, they would be very happy if you put in a multifocal lens. So a, anything that they, they can lay their hands on, they want to do without the glasses. And there's a new distance, the intermediate distance. They, they, the computer, the tab, etc. So we, we have a new challenge to satisfy the needs of this uh, uh, new distance that has come into the play, like it or no, most of us end up using either the tab or a laptop or a mobile phone. And that's what we need to kind of cater to in our cataract patients. Well, there have been advances in cataract removal technology, 
lot of things have come. The best thing is that we are now quite sure to give a very uh, a good kind of a cataract removal without a significant collateral damage. What that means is that we can now kind of predict the outcome on our day one also. The best thing is that the new technology for oil power calculation. The oil power calculation has been the most important area where we kind of uh, lack. And the newer, newer step source uh, OCT uh, that has recently come and the formulas that have come now inches our emetropia target close to 100 percent. We all know by this time that in a multifocal eye well, if you leave the patient with a little bit of astigmatism, the patient is going to be very unhappy. And we now know that addressing astigmatism is very critical, especially when you are working or when you are implanting a multifocal eye well. And there are lots of uh, strategies that are available to us to address small degrees, moderate degrees, or large degrees of astigmatism like a toric multifocal eye well or a, a LRI with either the blade or with the femtosecond. Now there are newer eye wells. So these newer eye wells allows you to cater to the specific needs that your patient has. Suppose a patient is an avid reader, then you would probably choose a bifocal eye well which gives a crisp near vision. Or a patient is mainly sitting on a computer, then you can give them an extended depth of focus eye wells which will give them a good intermediate vision. So multiple options are available to satisfy the visual needs at various distances. Well the diagnostics have changed very drastically because the expectation out of the surgery is so very high we need to do everything to kind of find out the comorbidity and we have at your disposal all the instruments that you can work with to find out the comorbidity. What has all this done? What it has done is that we are now inching closer to the outcomes of LASIK and we are now coming closer to the LASIK outcomes in terms of refractive outcomes. In my personal experience, this is a data of about 25 first trifocals that I have used. 80% of them have reached 0.63 and 92% of them have reached N6. So this is one of the kind of a best multifocal I have ever worked with so far till today. So in summary, the demand is there for a specs free vision, the advanced removal, cataract removal technology, the advanced diagnostics and the different types of IULs. We need to kind of mix and match all of them to give our uh, cataract patient a spectacle independence. So this course I suppose will probably give you uh, uh, an idea of how to integrate all this and give your patient a spectacle independence. So a lot of pe people like you are looking at using the trifocals or the extended depth of focus eye wells in near future and I am very sure this course will help you to decide what to use in which patient and how to go about doing it. Thank you very much.